Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Esty and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do one of my absolutely favorite things to do when I work on the front end of any application and that is how to add dynamic theme switching so that users can change between light and dark mode. I will be using Angular version 17, so if you're interested keep on watching. In this video I'm going to show you the third option which is changing the theme dynamically using Angular version 17 and Prime NG. The pros of this option are that you can use the predefined global styles provided by Prime NG and they have quite a lot of styles that you can utilize. The cons are that it is a little bit more involving to set up, you need to add uh, the chosen files in the angular.json, you need to prepare separating CSS files, you need to build the app. Also I'm not going to be using Signal for this option. I am going to start in a very similar way like I have done the two options before. I'm going to go into my designated folder and I'm going to create a new Angular version 17 app with ng new Angular version 17 theme and this one is going to be prime ng. Of course, you don't have to make the name so long. I'm making the name long because I'm pushing to a public repository where all of the code will be shared and I want to make it a little bit more descriptive since they have two more options, two more ways of doing this in the same repo. That's why the name of the app is kind of long, but you don't need to do that. You can name your app whatever you like. And I'm going to add um, style to be SCSS because that's something that I like to do for all of my apps. And also it is important, I think, specifically in this way to show what it looks like when you are starting with SCSS because there is just a little detail coming along. Okay, the app is done. Let's clear it up and open in Visual Studio Code. So now, since my Git repo contains all the three projects with all the three different ways of doing it, I'm going to go into the correct project which is PrimeNG and I'm going to install PrimeNG and Prime icons. So npm install PrimeNG okay. and now npm install Prime icons. I'm just gonna verify my package.json that both of them are over here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna open an integrated terminal and create a header component. In this video I'm just gonna be creating the basic header component because this is all I need to implement this functionality. So ng generate components in a folder components. It's gonna be called header. So there is a specific way in which I connect to the Prime Engine already predefined styles and that is by creating two more files at the same level as style CSS. So I'm going to create two more and I'm going to rename them. One is going to be called dark as CSS and the other one of course is going to be called light. <laughs> SCSS. And what I need to do is I need to import the themes provided by Prime Engine and they are basically going into node modules and then Prime Engine resources, themes, dark or light. So I'm going to use the same import from here and I'm just going to adjust it instead of dark. MD stands for material design so I'm going to go with light instead of dark. So I have those two files where I'm importing the PrimeNG predefined styles. Now what I need to do is I need to add those files to angular.json so the app knows which styles to use and I'm gonna go into styles and that is actually part of importing PrimeNG. I need to add it to the styles. They already tell you that in the documentation. Of course this here is a different theme so I'm going to be adjusting this code in a moment but basically what this code is providing here is the theme that I will be using and also I'm going to need the 
Parmesan min CSS. But over here, there is gonna be a little bit of a difference, which I'm going to copy from my existing project. And this is following their official tutorial. So I am importing these little objects. I'm importing the theme that I have selected and I'm importing the name, bundle name, which is connected to the dark SCSS. And this one is connected to the light SCSS. And I'm gonna have to add this in one more place over here in angular.json so it's over here and again this is going to be in the public repo so you can copy this code and now for the header components i'm actually gonna go into primary components and i'm gonna look for the toolbar first of all i'm gonna add it to importing the header component ts file and now i'm gonna actually grab this one from over here. I'm not gonna use a split button, so I'm not gonna import it, but I do need to import button. And let's see, there was one more thing that I need. Um, I, think it, I think they called it input switch. My toggle button, let's see. Where did it go? in an input switch which i'm gonna need to import okay and i'm just gonna place it here now of course it's gonna try to connect to which I need to add over here. I'm gonna set it to true. Boolean. <laughs> Why does it go with false always the first thing? No, it needs to be set to true, not to false. Ng model. Now for ng model, I'm pretty sure that I needed to import uh, forms module. Um, Forms module. Okay, that satisfies the ng model. In order to display the header, I'm gonna go into the app component and I'm gonna go into component TS because I'm gonna need it in a bit. So I'm gonna erase everything from the app component HTML and I'm gonna um, need to import the header component. their components, importing it in app component, yes. Going back to the app component HTML and I'm just gonna add the app header to display it over here. And just some text of hello, just to have something going on there. With that done, I would actually like to start the app with um, first npm install and then start the app with npm start okay something is missing i think i am forgetting to import the prime icons let's have a look okay install prime icons i did that uh, import in the SCSS, yeah. So what I needed to do in order to use the prime icons is to get that import and place it in style SCSS and import the prime icons. Now let's have a look. Okay, so to get things going, I actually need to go into the index HTML and I need to add a style sheet link and I'm gonna copy it from my test app. And again, this is following the official tutorial provided by PrimeNG. So this link has an ID of app theme. I'm starting it first with dark CSS, but I'm gonna be changing the value of the href dynamically. So for now, I'm just gonna add it to index.html. I'm gonna save. Again, this code is gonna be in the public repo, so you can just copy it from there. And now that I have this done, I'm gonna create the service. I'm in app and I opened up an integrated terminal. So I'm gonna go ng generate service in a folder. 
in a folder services and it's gonna be called theme service like the previous times. I'm gonna open up the theme service and here I'm actually gonna be doing it kind of the JavaScript way. So no signals, no nothing, just pretty much the JavaScript way where I will be grabbing elements by ID and I'm gonna be targeting the app theme element. I'm gonna define first the active theme, um, which is gonna be string and it's gonna be dark. I'm gonna get the theme, which is just going to return this active theme, okay. And you need to add a set theme, also gonna be string. I'm gonna define a variable with it, theme link, and it's going to be equal to document, get element by ID, and my ID is app theme, and it's gonna be as, uh, HTML link element. That's right. So I can get access to the href. I'm gonna add the if statement here. I'm gonna check for theme link and then I'm gonna set um, href of the theme link equal to the theme and concatenate CSS. That's right so far. Then I'm gonna set this active theme to theme. Okay, so what the theme service does is it is targeting this element and it's gonna be setting the href, the link to the styles dynamically. And I think I need the input text to get the search looking a little bit better than what it is right now. So let's try it with the input text module. Let's have a look. I think that was the one that I need. Yeah, usually I would be rearranging my imports, but for now, I'm gonna just keep them like this. And there we go. Okay, now the search is looking fine and the input switch is checked. And the cool thing is that over here, I have already style. So I have group end, so I don't really need to move the input switch. It is already at the back. So let's get it working. First of all, in the header component TS, I'm gonna inject the theme service. Theme service of type theme service. I'm gonna be inject theme service. Okay. I'm gonna add selected theme, which is gonna be dark. I'm going to implement on init. Okay. I'm gonna grab it because I don't actually need it up there. Put it below. Now on in it I'm gonna set the theme with this dot theme service. Set theme to this selected theme. Okay. So I'm gonna add on theme change and it's gonna be type string this dot selected theme is gonna equal theme then this dot theme service set theme theme okay so far it's correct so in the index html i am connecting to dot css files and i'm working with scss so for this to work i need to build the app so that's why i stopped it i'm gonna go into the git ignore file I'm gonna erase um, the dist folder because I actually want to back it up. Uh, I want it to be in the git repo and I'm gonna build the app now. So uh, we're in the right direction. So ng build. Okay, the dist folder is over here. And let's have a look. Okay, we have the light and the darts. And of course, in the header component HTML, I need to add the click event to the iPod switch. So it's gonna be a click on theme change. And I'm gonna add in my conditional in there. So I need to connect it to the checked condition. And now it should work. Okay, well, let's have a look at it over here. 
and grab the element which I am dealing with. So we have light and then we have dark. So it keeps working as many times as you toggle it. That is one important note to add here. I am connecting it to the checked state of the input switch. And you can adjust the logic depending on your app. In my case, I actually needed to reverse it. So when it's checked, the theme is set to dark and otherwise it is set to light. PrimeNG has a lot of styles. I'm using Material Design, the purple right now, but there it would work with any of them. And of course, if I want to use more than two styles, I will just separate them in different. So right now I just have dark and light of both of them being a Material Design, the purple, but you can add as many as you like. I just made a simple example to show you how it works of course you can extend this to a lot more than that and you can add more components and just uh, grow the app from here but in terms of setting up the theme dynamically that's all you need to do you can have a look at the other two options of setting dynamic theme using angular version 17 that i have on my channel you can have a look at the rest of the videos on my channel a lot of them are angular related thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you next time bye for now Thank you.